Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our TOEIC lesson for today, preparing you for the test of English for international communications. And today we're talking about a visiting artist program. It's in the works. Someone is making preparations for this program, and it involves all sorts of details. Yeah, something's in the works. It just means you're organizing it. It's coming together. You know, it's something that you've planned. It hasn't taken place yet, but you are organizing and getting ready for something. So we're going to talk about what a visiting artist program is. We've got different characters today. We have a Vincent. That's a guy. Audrey. I love that name. Audrey Hepburn was one of my favorite actresses. I had a classmate named Audrey Ahrens. Oh,、mm. there's an Audrey、um, it, who's really good friends with my mom, still in my hometown. And then there's a Pablo, which is typically I would say either、uh, a, a a Latin name, you know, someone、mm. who speaks Espanol, Spanish. Maybe、uh, someone who is also Pablo could be what other country?、Uh, yeah, maybe well, Italian. Italy, maybe. maybe I, I don't、Italian. know. I, again, I had a classmate in school whose surname was Pablo,、oh, Steve、really? Pablo. Oh, that's interesting. But、uh, I never knew if he was of Mexican descent or not.、Hmm. I didn't know him very well. Maybe he was kind of shy, or he had different、uh, sets of friends. But but it's usually a first name. Yeah, Pablo yeah. Cruz.、Uh, that's、yeah. a famous artist from the seventies. Although I don't think that's His real name. It could be. Who knows? But in any case, here、uh, we've got a conversation going on between these people. So let's、uh, listen to what they talk about. They're going to talk about this visiting artist program. Let's find out what this is all about right now. Vincent, Audrey, and Pablo sit down for a meeting in the Department of Fine Arts office. All right. As you know, a local philanthropist has recently donated a generous sum to our department. We've decided to put the funds toward a new visiting artist program. Have you gotten any updates from the artists we've reached out to, Audrey? Yes, I've gotten several responses. Most are only available later in the year, but two who are willing to participate in the program this summer. Are Nyla Bishop and Ivan Choi? They're both enthusiastic about the project and speaking to the students here. That's perfect. Both of them are up-and-coming figures in the art world, so they'll be relatable to younger artists. They also work with contemporary themes that will resonate with students outside our department. Then the next step is to plan everything out for their arrival. Pablo. You're in charge of budgeting for the events and contacting the relevant venues to book spaces. No problem. I already have a list of open spots that will be suitable for lectures. Audrey, since you've been the one in contact with each of them, I'm assigning you to arrange their accommodations. Right. I'll book rooms for both Nyla and Ivan, and I'll provide what they need in terms of materials for workshops and presentations. That leaves Vincent with the promotional side, doesn't it? Right, you are. I'll be working with our marketing department to get the word out. Okay, guys, we're going to get started. As you know, this is our TOEIC unit, and so these words we're going to be focusing on in particular may just show up on a TOEIC test that you take in the future. So we want you to pay close attention. So we've got these three folks who are sitting down for a meeting, and they work in the Department of Fine Arts. Um, that's where I got my bachelor's degree. I was in the Department of Fine Arts and Communication,、um, and so these guys probably,、uh, you know, have students there who are artists, maybe painters, sculptors.、Um, fine arts would also include, in at least in my college, theater. And dance and things like that. So it's kind of a fun department to be in because you're usually producing works of art, whether they're moving and alive, like you're on the stage, maybe you're a singer, or perhaps it's visual arts where you're an artist and producing things people can just stand back and look at. 
Indeed, and in this particular case, they're going to have, I guess, an artist come and visit. Yeah, they're going to welcome the artist. Hey, come in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. Would you like something to drink? Yes, that is when somebody visits, but a visiting artist program is a little different. I think they come,、uh, yes, as a guest, but they're there to like give lectures and things like that. And usually、workshops. a semester, yeah,、mm. Mm. for for a, for a period of time. Yeah. So let's find out what this is all about. We've got Vincent Audrey and. Pablo, they're meeting in the Department of Fine Arts in the office there. And Vincent begins the conversation. He says, "All right, as you know, a local philanthropist has recently donated a generous sum to our department. A generous sum, a very large amount of money, is what that means.、Mm -hmm. And we've got a word here: philanthropist." Philanthropist. That just means somebody who is concerned about people, and they donate money to charities and organizations and things like that. Yeah, typically when you、uh, call someone a philanthropist, there's someone who have a great deal of money to give away to charity or to、uh, certain things or causes that they think are important. So if、uh, you're talking about that field, it's philanthropy. Oh, he's a very well-known philanthropist. Philanthropist—it's kind of a weird word to say.、Mm. Um, we've even called people like、uh, who started、uh, Microsoft. What's his name? Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Yeah, he retired from his board of directors and then went on to be a big philanthropist, donating a lot of his money to different causes. So, if you donate something, guys, it means you give it away, and usually you're giving away either money or some sort of、um, product or goods that can help other. People, maybe you're donating money to a charity like the Red Cross, or maybe you're volunteering your time. I know、uh, Tom's dad takes meals to the elderly, and he's actually donating his time、um, to help others who can't get out of the house, and he provides meals for them that way. So there are lots of ways you can donate, and、uh, lots of things you can donate to different causes you believe in. Uh, indeed, and、uh, he goes on to say here, we've decided to put the funds toward a new visiting artist program.、Mm -hmm. So they got a donation from somebody、uh, who is very generous. So they need to do something with the money. So、mm -hmm. they decided to put it toward a new visiting artist program. To put the funds toward, to put something toward something means to use that money. I want to put my savings toward my college education, for example. And in this particular In the case, they're going to use the money for this visiting artist program. And Vincent has a question: Have you gotten any updates from the artists we've reached out to, Audrey? So updates,、uh, some new information, some、uh, fresh information that we didn't have before. Yeah, updates.、Um, an update can be a noun or a verb, you guys. So you might need to update your software、um, every once in a while. My、uh, smartphone will tell me it needs to update some software on my phone. I hate that. What's wrong with the old one? <laughs>、yeah. I'm sick of changing. <laughs> And also, you can、uh, talk about.、Um, Maybe you work with someone on a project at work, and you can say, "Do you have any updates for me?" So they're、uh, they're looking around to see what updates from the artists they've reached out to Audrey have said. So visiting artist program, we had those in my school. We had a very famous singer come for a semester and、uh, give special master classes. It was fun to have someone around on campus who was very well known. So Audrey says, "Yes, we've gotten several responses from some of the artists." That they've reached out to. We often use that term. To reach out to someone just means to get in touch with them, contact them about something. She said most are only available later in the year, but two who are willing to participate in the program this summer are two people, and one is Nyla Bishop.、Um, I knew a Nyla in New York. She was a girl, so I'm assuming this is a woman's name. And Ivan Choi is a guy's name. They're both enthusiastic about the project. And speaking to the students here.
Uh, indeed, I think these are fictional names here,、mm-hmm. just for the、uh, purpose of our lesson here. And so those are the names of the two artists that are coming to their school, to their department, and they're going to be there for probably a semester. No, or they've、so. looked into it. They haven't actually. Oh, true. Yes, yeah, just said investigating for、sure. this. That's the update. <laughs> yeah, that's the new information. And Pablo says, "Well, that's perfect. Both of them are up and coming figures in the art world,、mm. so they'll be relatable to younger artists. So if you're up and coming." That means your career has just started, and you're going to get more and more famous as time goes on. You're not an already established artist yet, but they're new, they're exciting, and they're going to get more and more famous as time goes on. They're up and coming people or figures in the world of art. Yeah, if you're relatable, it just means you、um, have a background or a knowledge of things that.、Uh, You know, other people know about as well, so they have things to talk about with you. They also,、uh, Pablo says, work with contemporary themes, modern themes, that will resonate with students outside our department. That word "resonate" is used when we're talking about、um, just you know giving you a certain feeling about something. Maybe it brings a particular emotion up when you hear something. If something resonates with you, or an idea resonates with You, you like it when you hear it. You understand it. You think it's kind of cool. You can relate to it. Uh, right, so resonating does refer to sound, basically a loud sound、uh, that you can hear all over the place. The air raid sirens resonated throughout the city, but in this particular case, it means yeah, everybody、uh, can relate to this. They love this idea.、Yeah. And Vincent says, well, then the next step is to plan everything out for their arrival. To plan everything out to make the preparations. <laughs> When these visiting artists show up, and Vincent says, "Pablo, you're in charge of budgeting for the events and contacting the relevant venues to book spaces." So Pablo here, his responsibility is budgeting. You know. Figuring out where the money is going to be spent, he doesn't have to come up with the money himself、Mm-mm. from his own pocket. They have this money, but they need to budget the money to plan on how they're going to use it, who gets so much money, and stuff like that. So he's in charge of this, which also means he's responsible for that. It is his responsibility. It is is his duty. The other part of his duty, or something he is in charge of, is contacting. The relevant venues to book spaces. When you use this word "relevant," which is an adjective, it just means what's appropriate for something. So, appropriate venues to book spaces. He's not going to contact venues that are huge and probably、uh, really only good for big concerts with famous artists who come. Now, he's looking for venues that fit or are appropriate or suitable. For、uh, what they need, so relevant just means suitable, appropriate, or connected to something.、Um, sometimes we'll have conversations in meetings at work, and maybe your boss has to stop all the chatting, and he or she says, "Hey, we need to stick to the relevant issues,、uh, the issues that really matter to what we're trying to decide in the meeting." Because sometimes we start talking about movies we've seen or good restaurants we've gone to. So Pablo says, "No problem." He knows what his、uh, Responsibilities are, and he has an,、uh, a list of open spots or venues that have space that are suitable for lectures. Exactly. So those artists can give speeches to students and stuff like that. And Vincent says, "Okay, Audrey, since you've been the one in contact with each of those artists,、mm-hmm. I'm assigning you to arrange their accommodations." So yes, because she has been in contact with each of those artists, well, therefore she's in charge or she's responsible for finding rooms for them or apartments or places for them to live. That's accommodations. They can be temporary in a A hotel or something like that, or they can be more long term, like an apartment. And these, of course, are visiting artists who are going to be there for quite some time. So, of course,、uh, a hotel is not going to be good enough for them. I wanted to mention here.、Uh, sometimes I see people here in Taiwan write accommodation. I'm going、mm. to,、uh, you know, I'm going to book my accommodation. No, guys, we always use this in the plural form. It's just one of the weird things in English that we do.、Mm. So. 
So remember to use accommodations in the plural form when you're talking about booking your hotel, or you know just arranging for a place to stay for a while. So Audrey says, right? I'll book rooms for both Nyla and Ivan, and I'll provide what they need in terms of materials for workshops and presentations. Now, a visiting artist,、uh, besides just doing, say, like master classes, which they might do for、uh, maybe a young student artist there. Or for me, it was、uh, he, the guy we had at my college, had、uh, master classes for opera singers. So we would sing for him, and he critique us. They'll oftentimes also organize. Workshops, which means they might lecture a little, but then they'll have you get up and actually do something that's hands-on. Kind of sounds like a master class to me. These workshops, and then also presentations. Maybe sometimes they are just speaking to a large group of kids in that particular department, but not working one-on-one. -on -one. That would be maybe just a presentation. Rather than a workshop, where you get the idea that people are actually getting up and doing something physical, maybe they're painting for that visiting artist, or singing, or doing something like that. Right. So the materials they need for the workshops, of course, I guess if it's an opera singer, they'll need a microphone, maybe, or a lectern or something to stand behind, maybe a piano or something, or、Someone、maybe to accompany them. Yeah. Oh、uh, yeah. Or maybe they'll give them、uh, one of those helmets with the horns on it. <laughs> So they can be in a Wagner opera or、yeah. something like that. <laughs> so Pablo says, "Well, that leaves Vincent with the promotional side, doesn't it?" So promotional means having to do with letting people know about what you have and trying to convince people to buy your product or to participate. In this case, in these visiting artist programs, come and attend the lectures and、uh, sign up for the workshops and stuff like that. The verb is to promote, and promotional is the adjective here. So. That's this particular aspect or side of their project here.、Uh, also, he's asking this in the form of a tag question. Well, Vincent,、uh, you're in charge of the promotional side, aren't you? Or it leaves you in charge of this, doesn't it? And Vincent says, "Well, right, you are. You are very right. That's correct. I'll be working with our marketing department to get the word out to、mm -hmm. let people know that this is happening." Yeah, so sounds like they all know what they need to do. They just need to go and do it. So they're going to be, of course, preparing this for whoever decides to come. We don't know which visiting artists will actually be able to come. Right now, guys, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher for a little bit, and then we'll be back to go through some of these extra dialogues and the discussion question. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. 我们今天要来看的是多义的文章。好，今天的标题是提到艺术家仿效计划。哎，我们常说，哎，有客座教授，这是一个 visiting professor。那这边如果谈艺术家 ，a visiting artist， 对他们就是到这个学校来，嗯，在住校期间呢，可以进行很多的座谈、演讲。艺术欣赏活动，好，这个地方我们知道这是一个 program， 但是标题最后有一个 in the works。work 如果说加了 s， 当然第一个可能就是哎，它代表作品，所以它加了复数。但是 works 它其实也代表生产的工厂，而 in the works 就是表示说正在计划中，在讨论中，在进行中。好，那我们来看下面呢，就要说到这个对话内容了。对话它发生的地点是在美术系的系办。我们知道美术是 fine arts。那这边有三位，我们来看看他们说了什么。首先呢，第一位 Vincent 他就提到了。原来是有一位慈善家，然后捐了一笔钱，所以现在这些资金怎么办呢？他们决定 put the funds toward a new visiting artist program。好，那 put toward 那就是表示投入，把钱放在什么上头？嗯，那这么说来，当然我们要赶快联络这些艺术家，然后看看有没有什么进展呢 ？Any updates？ 接下来。Audrey 就说话了。Audrey 说：“哎，有的，他有收到了一些回应。那大部分都是要晚一年、晚一点才能够过来。不过他这里提到了 t 
to， 哎，这个 to 就是一种不定代名词。讲的当然就是有两位这个有回应的人，这两位呢，哎，一个是 Nyla， 一个是 Ivan， 他们呢是愿意过来的，而且很有兴趣哦。好，记得 enthusiastic 是代表有热情的。那如果对什么事有热情 ，be enthusiastic about something。好，接下来 Bobo 就说了，嗯，很好，那。哎，如果两位都是艺术界的新星，那年轻艺术家就更了解他们了。这里有一个所谓的 up and coming figures， 当然意思就是在未来很有前瞻性的，以后可能成为明星的这两位艺术家。而且呢，好，他说到，因为这样子，所以他提到的他们的主题也是当代的主题，那可以怎么办？ Resonate with students, 可以和学生有共鸣。那 Vincent 听到了，就继续说了：“哇，这样子啊！那么下一步，我们当然要做好全盘的计划喽。”嗯，那这里说到 Bobo 应该要负责的是 budgeting。什么叫做 budgeting 呢？当然就是编列预算。我们知道 budget 就是预算，但是 budgeting 也就是把它当做。动词来使用，那为这一次这样子的啊、嗯、场合，为这样子的活动，然后编预算，还有他要联络场地，然后预定场地。Book， 它本来是书，但是记得当动词就是预定，就相当于 reserve， 你要把一些嗯要用到的地方给 book 预定下来。好，那 Bubble 当然没问题喽。嗯，接下来呢 ，Audrey 这边他应该要做什么呢 ？Vincent 就说了 ，Audrey, since you've been the one in contact with each of them, OK， 好，这边我们先看 the one， 一样的 one 当然就是一种不定代名词，用 the one， 也就是你就是这一位要做一下这些事的人。好，不定代名词，不管是 one 也好，不管 two 也好，不管 several、many、both， 都是常见的字眼，要知道它到底。代替的是谁？好，那他应该要安排的是住宿方面的问题。嗯 ，Audrey 当然就回应没有错。嗯，其实呢，他已经定好了。而且，假如说在呃材料教材上面、演讲的题材上面有需要的话，他都可以帮忙。这边提到一个片语 ，in terms of。好 ，in terms of。这个片语非常的好用，有时候你是就哪一个方面来说，像在这里 ，in terms of materials， 就嗯，这个题材上，好，题材上来说的话，如何又如何？那当然，你也可以知道 terms 还有别的用法，有时候光是一个 terms， 它就可以代表的是关系，代表是条款。好，再来我们继续，下面 Bobo 就说了。那 Vincent 说起来，我们两个人负责的这些事，那你要做的就是 promotional side。我们知道 promotion 代表的就是推销、行销，那你当然就要负责行销推广方面的事了，没错吧？注意到了吗 ？Doesn't it？ 这叫做附加问句。Tag question 其实并不难，就是要注意前后的对照，前面的。到底是什么样的动词，什么样的主词？后面你就必须要相对应。所以这边的 doesn't it， 当然相对的就是因为前面是 that， 然后再来动词的 leaves， 所以你要用的是 does doesn't。好，最后当然就到了尾声了。没错，他们三位就会这样的进行合作。今天的讲解就到这边结束。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Okay, everybody, it's time for us to talk about some extra dialogues here that have to do with our topic for today:、uh, arranging some kind of visiting artist program for their fine arts department. So let's、uh, take a look at the first dialogue here. You be Audrey, okay? Okay.、Uh, let's see. Why not recruit some of our graphic design students to help? They can do posters and website design for the event. Good idea. That could be a good opportunity to promote our students' talents. Yeah, I think this sounds fun. We often will have a lot of、uh, publicity and marketing materials that we need to get ready for some of these events that we're assigned to do, whether it's at a school like this or maybe at your job that you're currently working at. And you need those folks who are really talented.、Um, we've got graphic design students, not students. We have graphic design employees here at Kongjo Meiyu, and they're great. And they help lay out the magazine and make it look great. And they do such a professional job. And we also use their talents to do posters and maybe work on the website if they want to redesign something or maybe add a page or two. Right, so yes, indeed, they've got the students in that、uh, department there, or at the university. So it will give them a good chance to show everybody what they can do. Let's move on now to the next extra dialogue. How is our budget looking, Pablo? We're still on track, so no worries. I've also got the large studio and the lecture hall booked for those nights. Okay, so remember, Vincent assigned Pablo with the budget. He's in charge of budgeting all the activities, figuring out where the money is going to be spent、mm-hmm. on stuff like that. So Pablo's probably done some work by this point. So Vincent wants an update here. How is our budget looking? What's new with the budget? And Pablo says, "Well, we're we're still on track, so no worries. So yeah, still on track. We're still doing what we're supposed to do. We're on schedule. No problems." Yeah, on track is another word you'll hear a lot in business discussions too.、Uh, you can get off track; just means you're not actually accomplishing what you're supposed to. Maybe you're wasting time in a meeting talking about things you shouldn't.、Uh, but yeah, you'll hear that a lot. Oh, we're still on track.、Oh, we've gotten a little off track. We need to get back on track.、Um, here's the the last conversation, Pablo. You go first. Has Nyla gotten in yet? A lot of the art students are looking forward to seeing her. Yes, she's just settling in and preparing her notes for the lecture. Ah, it looks like Nyla got the invite after all. Maybe she's really pretty, <laughs> and some of the guys are really excited to see her, to get to be around her. Who knows? But、uh, uh, no, no, they're interested in her <laughs> mind, in her art, her talent, work, nothing、yeah. else. That's what they want to,、mm. to learn from her. So yes, a lot of those art students want some ideas from her. And Audrey says yes, she's just settling in. Yeah, she has arrived. She's getting used to her surroundings,、mm-hmm. and she's preparing her notes. For the lecture, so everything should be going pretty well there. Here's our discussion question for today: If you were part of a group putting on a large event, which parts of the planning would you rather be in charge of, and why? I would like to be in charge of the marketing.、Um, it's something I enjoy. And I would be good at promoting any sort of artist that they ended up inviting, and、uh, you know, getting read, ready with the the posters and the flyers, maybe that you hand out. Any of that stuff. I love marketing. What about you, Tom?、Uh, well, I don't have much experience with this sort of thing. You know, I'm always kind of behind the,、uh, the the sidelines, I guess you could say, on the sidelines. But I suppose I would enjoy kind of setting up the venue, making sure the microphones work, setting up the speakers,、mm. making. Sure, there's an overhead projector or some kind of、uh, computer projector, so they could hook their laptop up to it with a PowerPoint program or something like that. Arrange the chairs, all that kind of stuff. So this is something all of you can consider in the future when you get jobs at companies where you will be putting on these large events and you'll be responsible for something. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. But in our next lesson, we're going to talk about an actual article about this visiting artist program. So please join us then. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.